Good evening and thanks for joining us. With many enjoying the long weekend out on the water, RCMP are reminding the public alcohol in boats don't mix. In Alberta, it's illegal to consume or have alcohol on any boat, but officials say there is one exception to this rule, which only applies if all four of the following conditions are met. The vessel must have permanent sleeping and cooking facilities, a permanent toilet is secure to the vessel, and the boat must be anchored or secured alongside a dock. RCMP say the same criminal charges apply as if operating a vehicle on a highway. The penalties can range from a minimum $1,000 fine to up to 120 days of imprisonment for a third offense. It's bad to the bone out in Macklin today as the 22nd annual Bunnick Tournament is underway. More than 3,000 people have flooded to the town and campground to play the game of bones. And this year, Anna Ganave catches up with one special competitor. She steps up to the line to toss a bone. This is Clara Dillman's first time in the tournament and she's the oldest competitor at 93 years old. I just wanted to. This year, well, last year I had surgery. I couldn't. But this year I thought to myself, I'm going to try it. And she brings the heat. Let her roll! She's tough. She has experience. She's ruthless, actually. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I just hit and miss. And for this group, it's their first year ever playing the game. I had the whole team check out YouTube, watch all the finales of the Bunny tournaments just to be prepared for this. The game of bones is a simple one, they say. All you have to do is throw the red bone and hit the blue bones first. Once you get the blue bones down, then you hit all the white ones. The team that does that first is the winner. And organizers say this is the first year they've been using social media through the hashtag Bunnick 2014. Well, we're going to try to be giving away a bunch of prizes using the hashtag. And uh, if Sastel can keep up with as many tweeters and, and followers that we have, we're going to do okay. We're trying to get the, the message out of the type of event it is, the family event that it is. And Claire says she loves seeing people come from so far away for the weekend. And her advice for future Bunnick players is just to come out and try it. You don't need a practice if you don't want to because I had no practice. I just cut it. <laughs> and in the end, she even managed to tie the game. Anna Knopf 8, Newcap News. Well, if your child is itching to keep busy before school starts, the dance and on the border summer camp will help keep them moving all week long. <laughs> The Dancing on the Border summer camp geared towards kids and teenagers will allow them to dance away the summer, learning from a range of dancing pros. Uh, Moses Asher Kristen, who is ex-Royal Winnipeg, um, he runs his own company out in BC, so I mean, he's done so much stuff. We have Elise Mello, who was actually our, one of our adjudicators this year at the festival. The president of the Lloydminster Regional Dance Festival says children from 7 to 18 can learn the footwork of a number of dancing styles. Tap, lyrical, jazz and hip hop this year. She adds the summer camp is a great way for kids to access quality instruction without having to leave the city. Vancouver and Toronto are the major dance centres in, in Canada. Um, so if you want to go and get top tuition, you have to go to those places and we bring those instructors here so that the kids don't have to travel, so the families don't have to travel. The camp starts August 5th and there are a few spots still open. If you would like some more information, email Sam Greenacre at dancingontheborder at hotmail.com.